Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video I am working on a 2016 Honda Civic and uh, we're going to perform uh, replace ECM PCM procedure. As you can see I have a computer here uh, that, uh, that's damaged. This car wasn't an accident. Um, I went ahead and uh, purchased a brand new computer. Okay, You can see it's, it's a Honda computer. I just opened it and it tells us that we got to program the computer after we replace it. Uh, for this procedure, you would normally have to pay a visit to the dealer, um, but I will show you how you could get it done by yourself if you have some mechanical skills. All I'm gonna use is my uh, Launch iDiag uh, scan tool, and I'll post the link in description. You can use your cell phone. Um, I did a video before when I'm using just my cell phone. I end up picking up just a Samsung uh, tablet because uh, I don't normally update it because when you update your software on your phone, sometimes it screws up the app and you have to download it again. So what I'm going to show you right now is you can see this computer right here is, uh, is damaged, but that's the part number. All right. And... Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put brand new computer in, okay, and once I put this new computer in, the car will not start. So I'm going to use that scan tool to perform this procedure. So this is our brand new computer in the box. It's really inexpensive. I was surprised. It was $170 my cost. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the computer, and we're going to get inside the car and start. we'll start programming the computer. All right, so I went ahead and replaced the computer. This is our old computer. Now I'm gonna hop in a car and I'm gonna go ahead and program my new computer to my new keys because the car will not start. So let's get inside a car. Okay, so what I'm gonna demonstrate right now, just replace the computer. My scan tool is still on the floor, okay? It's not hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start the car and I'm gonna show you what the car starts. It runs for just a few seconds and uh, and then it goes off and uh, it's, you can see the red light flashing right next to the turn signal which tells us the immobilizer is different. Basically it's not recognizing the keys so we're gonna have to write a new VIN number into the new computer and program the keys. So I'm gonna do that with my launch. I'm gonna take my OBD2 connector, plug it in. And like I said, just check on Amazon. I'll put a link there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select Honda. I'm going to turn ignition on. And it's initializing. I'm going to click 16 pin. And this scan tool, I think one of the best scan tools that I ever owned. I do have an HDS, but I always have to update. It's very pricey. And as you could see, it picked up my uh, part number for the computer. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to click System Selection. And I'm going to go into Immobilizer right here. I'm going to click on immobilizer. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And then I'm going to click on immobilizer setup. It's giving you a warning that you need to know what you're doing. I'm going to hit OK. And then as you could see there is a replace ECM PCM option. I'm going to select this. It's communicating with the vehicle. With an HDS, you have to buy ECM PCM code from like Locksmith or other online services. What's nice about this one, it will blow right through that. And uh, it, will, it, will, it will just do that without any issues. As you can see, my red light is still flashing. It's telling me to turn ignition off. Turn ignition back on. And it's telling me right now that... Uh, the registration of ECM PCM has been completed. So I'm going to click OK. 
and says check make sure each keys will start the engine I'll, I'll hit OK again and it says to turn the switch on and I'm gonna hit OK so there's one more step that we gotta do as you can see the light is flashing again all right like I said there's one more step that we gotta do so we what we're gonna do that what we're gonna do now we're gonna hit no no or yes just we want to get out of the option we're gonna go back we're gonna go to the computer we're gonna have to write the VIN number that's one more step that we need to do you click on engine system it's gonna communicate with it this procedure would cost you at least 160 or 180 bucks depends who you which dealer you go to and then there's a special functions okay and then it says write VIN you're gonna hit okay and it says please input VIN because that computer is absolutely clear it doesn't have any VIN number right now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, write my VIN number into my computer right here okay so we have one nine X F C two F five X G E zero four zero eight six three and confirm that it then you want to verify make sure the VIN number matches your car and it does as you can see I'm gonna hit yes and VIN writing is complete I'm gonna hit OK all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start the car it says to try all the keys bingo so I have one key is running now we're gonna check my other key I just saved myself a couple hundred bucks on top of that I, I would have had to buy a PCM code which I didn't have to so that's how you do it like I said this was George with Melnix Automotive as a proof you could see my still connector here that's my uh, tablet there and as you can see it's my new computer that attached right now to the wiring that's running this is my computer that I'm gonna throw out so once again thanks for watching this was George with Melnix Automotive if you have any questions shoot me an email otherwise thanks for watching